What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald, the insanely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number one. On Friday, we did an episode zero, choose my starter episode, where we said that we're playing this Pokemon Emerald randomizer, of course, and almost everything is randomized. Everything except the move data is randomized, and we're going to go ahead and keep it that way. I asked you guys if you could tell me what you thought about that, and some people told me that I should keep it without it. So basically, um, obviously wild Pokemon, starters, uh, types, uh, and then move sets are completely randomized, as well as all the trainer stuff. The trainers are also 10% higher levels, etc., etc., but we're going to keep the move data the same. And then uh, I asked you guys to vote on my starter, and I did a, a, a poll on Twitter, and it seemed to all agree-ish. Um, so we have our starter choice here in just a second. So uh, if you're excited for Pokemon Emerald to officially be starting, go and hit that like button down below. Uh, subscribe if you're new because it's going to be a super exciting playthrough. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, at first, it looked like uh, it looked like one of these was going to be leading. Uh, but after not too long, um, one of them took over. So in third place, we do have Exploud. Uh, no, no, whoa, wait, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the results right now. So, actually, in third place, we have Slacking. Uh, I thought I thought that Exploud was in third place. I don't know what I was thinking, but we have Slacking. He only got about 20% of the votes, uh, which we almost hit our 50-vote goal, which is really cool. It's certainly better than Crystal did. So, um, Slacking got third. Exploud did get second with 33%, but with 47% of the vote, we got Magikarp. So now I'll tell you why I voted, or I would have voted for Magikarp and why I'm excited for this. Everything is random. So remember at level 20 now, this thing's going to evolve. Now, it very well could evolve into something like a, um, uh, it could evolve into like a uh, Sunkern, which, you know, that could be bad, but I probably shouldn't say that because I'm speaking it into existence. But let's go ahead and pick Magikarp, the fish Pokemon, as our first encounter. So thank you all so much to those of you who voted on that or who commented below. It's super exciting. Uh, we'll talk about the comments of the day here in just a minute. So again, move sets are randomized. So we have Megahorn. We have a Magikarp with Megahorn. So let's go ahead and that's all we can do. Let's go ahead and use it. So, we're already showing the power of the randomizer. Phew! I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped! You saved me, thanks a lot! Oh? Hi, you're Domino! This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later today, okay? So, Domino, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with... Uh, with... a plum? What does that mean? Anyway, um, oh, you know what? There was something that I didn't think about. Okay, I have an idea what we'll do. But, um, I don't know what that word means. Here, let's ask Siri. What does a plum mean? No, not a plum. On it. Hold on, hold on. Don't tell me what a plum means. Also, you should be able to hear Siri just, just fine. A plum means self-confidence or assurance especially when in a demanding situation and there you have it all right so said so, but the way you battled earlier you pulled it off with a plum i guess you have your father's blood in your veins after oh whoops <clears throat> oh yes as thanks for rescuing me i'd like you to have the pokemon you used earlier i received the magic carp and i think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our random name generator that we used in our last uh That we used in our last playthrough, because I don't see any reason not to. Yes, I will give a nickname to Magic Carp, so we're gonna go masculine, right? Yes, masculine. Let's go first name only again. I was thinking about doing first and last. But why does this fit so well? Alright, we have. Rohan the Magikarp is our first member. If you work at if you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid, May, is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. 
Domino, why do, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see May? Sure. Is she my age? Because, like, if she's not my age, like, that's really, really weird. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. All right, so let's go ahead and check out our boy, Rohan, who does have an item. So we have Rohan, the Psychic Steel-type Magikarp. What the heck? With Liquid Ooze. Wait, that's bad, isn't it? Draining causes injury. Quirky nature. With, of course, Megahorn. Holding the Sacred Ash. Is that a joke? Is that a joke? Is that a joke? Also, I think this is the game that we have unlimited bag space. Uh, Alright, so... I don't think you give us anything. Alright, so like I said last episode, we're going to try to use the speed up button less. Less than we need to. Uh, actually, I said that and then immediately used it. Power of science is staggering. Did you know that there's a guy in every opening town that talks about science? Wait. Okay, I guess I gotta do this first part. Alright, we should go ahead and scout a little bit and see what's in this grass. And if we can kill it. Uh, if we if we kill it with Megahorn, which I'm pretty sure we're going to kill everything with Megahorn. Um, we have a Gorobis. I have never, ever in my life used a Gor. I've never even considered using a Gorobis. Used Air Cutter, that won't do anything to me because I am Psychic Steel. I just want to see if Megahorn's going to kill. It does not. That's very good to know. It's very good to know. So we'll go ahead and speed up through this battle. There's no reason not to. Great. So we grow to level 6. So if we run into a Gorbis, we can catch it. Whew. Pokemon Emerald. I have not played this game in a while. I'm pretty sure there's a, like a hidden item or something. As ice beam and it froze me Woo! okay so remember <laughs> I feel like it's important to say um, does he heal my Pokemon wait does my mom heal my Pokemon like what's up wait I could have just ran up and healed my Pokemon what am I doing Anyway, so we have a Moltres. Is Moltres the common encounter? Alright, but it's good to know I can... Uh, okay. The question would be, should we use all of our Pokeballs on that? Alright, I'm going to actually, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So yeah, we have to decide if we want to use all of our Pokeballs to try and catch that... Uh, that Moltres. Wow. Let's go ahead and heal up. I'm pretty sure in these early games, like, nobody in the Pokemon Center gives you anything. Unless it's, like, a special person that's in there. So, let's go ahead and talk question of the day. The question of the day today, uh, which is located below the game. Whoa. That way. Um, right below the game. Uh, answer it in the comments below. It really, really helps out if you answer those questions. So, it only takes a minute. I don't want you to type a type of storm but if you watch this far uh, go ahead and let me know what you think about the layout and the thumbnail for this video or for this series uh, you know I as I said last episode uh, in episode zero I actually went ahead and made everything for this I was thinking about getting it commissioned I love the person that does commissions for me he does an amazing job um, but I just felt like I haven't really been doing much recently, so I decided I would just try it on my own. And uh, I think it came out pretty good. Also, I really hope the game isn't as stuttery as it looks for me. If it is, I'm gonna, it'll be fixed by the next episode. Don't worry about it, I apologize. Um, let's go ahead and scout a little more. What can we catch here? We can catch Skiploom here. That's not very exciting. What else, what else? And we can catch Primeape here. Okay, actually, I need to see if I kill it. Frenzy plant? You have... Wow. Crazy, man. 
All right, we're gonna we're not gonna do that anymore. Pokemon is a potion. Yeah. So the the Nuzlocke hasn't begun, uh, but we're gonna go ahead. Ooh, we have a Delibird. And okay, so I have to remember that I killed Delibird with with Megahorn. All right, let's talk to May. <laughs> this is our first time talking to May. I think so. Let's see the Pokemon found on. <coughs> <clears throat> Man, I almost have it. Let's see, the Pokemon found on Route 103 include... Oh, hi, Domino. I see, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. I definitely talked to May last episode. Up in her room, it was very awkward. Uh, I definitely forgot about that. You chose slacking. Alright, I'm going Megahorn. I'm gonna prove that my starter was the bomb. <laughs> oh no, not crunch! Don't miss. Okay, okay. Wow, that's so cool. All right, so what type? So it's either like a dark type, or I guess would it could it be psychic as well? Wow, that's great, Domino. You're pretty good. It's just salty. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any Pokemon of any kind easily. Something, something. I think I messed up those words. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. I like how they teach you to jump over ledges in this game. That's pretty clever. Uh, but let's go ahead and run down here. We've got to heal because we're about to die. I'm gonna go ahead and continue on back. So far, our Magikarp is looking pretty strong. Domino, over here, let's hurry home. I've never understood how, why they do that. It's like, I get it, I get it, I get it. All right, so now we are home. Oh, hi Domino. I heard you beat May on your first try, that's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Domino, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Now explain this the right way. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a, a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, May looks, looks for me while I'm out... What? May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, Domino, you got a Pokedex too! That's great, just like me, I've got something for you! And it has begun. It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm gonna look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. The lock has begun. So, uh, let's go. We're, we're going straight into it. Uh, there's no reason not to go straight into it. So, hi mom. But always talk to your mother. If you see that your mother is like obviously waiting for you to talk to her, talk to her. I'm not just talking about in game. Call your mother. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Domino. <clears throat> Domino. Domino. Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch. How nice. You're your father's child, all right? You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. Awesome. Now I don't need the I don't I don't need the speed up button much. Shoes come with instructions. Press the B button. Yeah, those are some nice instructions. The thing you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on, get them, honey. <sighs> Let's go ahead and save. I am I am terrified at what's at what could potentially happen in this grass. If we get Gorobus, I feel okay. But if we get that Moltres, I might have to use potions. I have to decide if I want to use all of my all of the five Pokeballs that I have. Let's go ahead and all right, here we go. First encounter is it is a Gorobus. Okay. All right, all right, good, good. Actually, I think that's probably for the best. I think that's probably for the best. I thought I was about to kill it. I was like, that is not for the best. That is not for the best. All right, so let's go ahead and hopefully catch this thing. Oh, that did not look good. 
That did not look very good. Okay. Come on, Gorbis. Stay in the ball. Yes. Okay, I was very concerned. It did it pop straight out. I don't think I read Magikarps. We have Gorbis, the South Sea Pokemon. The Gorbis siphons the body fluids of prey through its thin tubular mouth. Its light pink body color turns vivid when it finishes fle uh, feeding. Give a nickname to Gorbis. Change settings. Go on over here to Femininin. Ooh. I like these names so far. Is there a... Okay, I can't. I can just click that and go. We have Nevena. Nevena. Nevena the Gorobis. Let's check out our new friend. We have Nevena, the normal bug type. So we're weak to uh, fighting. We're weak to flying. We're weak to fire. Magma armor prevents freezing, so you'll be good against Moltres. <gasps> Careful nature, so we up our defense. Our speed is pretty high as it is. Also, I just remembered that our stats are randomized, so our attack and special attack are okay here. Actually, everything's pretty good there. Uh, I like it. I like it. I can live with this. I can live with this. Welcome to the Team Nevena. Alright, so let's go ahead and go catch another Pokemon. Yes, I would. All right, I think I should. Uh, I think I should be smart about this and head into the Pokemart. I'm gonna go ahead and you get seven Pokeballs and three of these. And I think I should be okay with that. I think I think my team is strong enough. Oh, I didn't check out the move set on Gorbis. I apologize for that. Summary. All we have is Air Cutter. Okay, we kind of knew that already. Uh, so I could have selected to have all Pokemon have four moves from the beginning, but imagine having four Mega Horns right from the beginning. So uh, let's go ahead into Route Three. What did I kill? Okay, I killed Delibird with a one-shot. Okay, we have Skiplum. I didn't even test this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch into Nevena. Let's hope we don't lose Nevena on... Okay, you have Pain Split. I'm gonna use Air Cutter. Wait, what? Oh no! Nevena! Okay, all right, I know what we'll do. It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, that didn't... Let me try to catch it real quick. Okay. Pain split. Okay, uh, I feel like I have to go for... Mega Horn. Uh, I'm gonna. Alright, I'm gonna use one more. I'm only gonna use one more. Okay. So let's go ahead and. If it lives, I'll try one more. Okay, it didn't live. It was super effective. And it had rough skin. That was. that was Okay, that was a little rough. That was a little rough for us, but that's okay. We, I'm gonna do one more encounter for today, and then we're gonna call it an episode. We are gonna try and keep these episodes to about 20 minutes. That's the. That's the goal length that we're aiming for. Now, I don't want to battle anybody right now. Uh, I might even have the smallest of grinding montages before the next episode, but our 102 encounter is a Mr. Mime. Level 4 Mr. Mime. I'm going to go for Mega Horn. I have a feeling that it's going to live. It actually lived. That's perfect. Great! Alright, let's go for a Pokeball. Oof! Alright, let's go. We, we don't need to see a Pokeball shake. We got a crit. Alright, that's bad. That's why we have potions. 
Got so many O's while they're looking like a bubble bean. Okay. Uh, Pokeball. Come on, stay in the ball. Really? Is this how is this how it's gonna go down? Wow. I missed. Come on. That's that's just bad luck. Alright. Okay, thank you. Oh, I was like, okay. Well, a bit of a rough start to the series, but that's okay. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Before the next episode, there will be a, a super short grinding montage just to get everybody to, like, level 7. And when I say everybody, I obviously just mean Gorbis up to level 7. Magikarp might, might wind up getting to, like, level 10 in the process, but um, that'll be about that. And then we'll go on to Petalburg City. Actually, wait, 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 wait. While I'm thinking about it, because I, I will likely forget. A hundred dollars. Not even worth the time. Not even worth the time. So we're gonna have to save up some money. Hopefully we can get a like a random um, amulet coin. That'd be great. But anyway, that is going to do it for episode one of Pokemon Emerald. If you did enjoy, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Answer the comments of the question, which is below the game right over there, about what do you think about this layout and the thumbnail for this, uh, or the logo, I guess. Um, and then we will be back tomorrow for more Pokemon Emerald. This will be a Monday through Friday series. So we will see you then with more Pokemon Emerald. Until then, have a blessed day.